This is Ritesh Srinivasan and welcome to my channel. In today's video, let's look at the application of BERT transformer for electronic health records for disease prediction. Okay, so I came across this paper. Uh, it is titled as Med BERT. Okay, so the idea over here is that they have proposed and they have implemented pre-training of BERT on a very large, uh, you know, training corpus specifically adapting the BERT framework which was originally developed for the text domain to the structured electronic health record domain. Okay, so MedBERT, it's a contextualized embedding model pre-trained on a structured electronic health record data set of close to 28.4 million patients. Okay, what they say is that fine-tuning experiments show that MedBERT improves the prediction accuracy boosting the area under curve by 1.212 to 6.14% in two disease prediction tasks from two clinical databases. Here is an example of structured EHR data. So this is hypothetical patient. So if you look at uh, this data, there are visits over here. So there are four visits. Okay. And for this first visit, if you look over here, there is a diagnosis and there are codes over here. So these codes are ICD-9 or ICD-10 codes for certain diagnosis. Okay. Then there is the medication. There is a lab result. Okay. And for some visit, there is no data. Okay. So this is how your EHR data will look like. Usefulness of the pre-trained MedBert was evaluated by fine tuning on the following two disease prediction tasks the prediction of heart failure among patients with diabetes and the prediction of onset of pancreatic cancer using three patient cohorts from two different EHR databases, Cerner Health Facts and Truen Health Market Scan. So these are the two databases which are used over here. Okay. So if you look at the database uh, details, okay, both these databases have millions of patients basically and they have longitudinal data as well one is uh, you know data from uh, 600 hospitals and clinics that is the Cerner health the true and health market scan is basically you know claims level data okay it is like uh, you know insurance claims uh, medicare supplemental claims okay over a particular period both are huge data sets okay so they use these data set and for pre-training they use the 28 million patients extracted from Cerner and here is where they have explained how they have uh, you know extracted you know this EHR data okay so for pre-training they used uh, you know some data from Cerner Health uh, you know 28.4 million patients uh, records and for evaluation they used three cohorts uh, as explained before one is prediction of heart failure among patients with diabetes and the other one is prediction of onset of pancreatic cancer. Now let us look at the MedBert architecture. Okay. So now if you go to the MedBert architecture, how is it different from your traditional BERT? So the input over here for the traditional BERT was text tokens, right? But here it is actually your uh, codes, okay, the ICD codes. So this is an example which they have shown over here. So what is done over here is that you have three kinds of embeddings. One is a code embedding, one is a serialized embedding and one is a visit embedding. Okay. So for example, this is one EHR record. In that EHR record, you have these, uh, you know, ICD-9 codes. Okay. So they are given to the code embedding. Then the order of this, you know, ICD-9 codes, uh, which are ICD-9 or 10 codes in diagnosis is your serialized embedding. Okay. Then this whole record is one visit. So this is your visit embedding. Now the, so for one patient, you will have, you know, uh, K number of visits. You will have these different diagnosis codes, right? You would have different serialization order of this uh, diagnosis code in each visit. So this they combine and give it to the MedBert embedding layer. Okay. Uh, basically the MedBert transformer and then you have the transformer layers and you have the output layer. Okay. So this is the MedBert embedding. Okay, so what is learned is this contextual embedding and based on this, uh, what is learned is that, uh, you know, what is the output is nothing but embeddings for each of these, uh, you know, visits, right? Okay, so now how did they pre-train this MedBert model? Okay, so how did they pre-train it? Uh, so for pre-training it, what they did is the standard mask language model, okay? 
in this case there is no text which is present right so what they did is uh, they masked some of these codes in each of these visits okay and they followed the standard 80% chance that a code was replaced by a mask right 10% chance that the code was replaced by a random code and another 10% chance that it was kept unchanged okay that's how they kind of did the pre training for masked language model pr prediction over here okay so predicting the codes so in that way so the relation between these codes some kind of contextual embeddings are obtained okay the next level of pre training which they did is task oriented pre training so for this what they said is that uh, you know in traditional bert you will actually pre train on some task like question answering or something right so here instead of that they looked at you know prediction of prolonged length of stay in hospital okay so idea over here is that uh, uh, the task over here is that you have to assess each patient for whether an incident of prolonged hospital visit okay where length of stay is more than 7 days had ever occurred throughout the entire ehr sequence of the patient so this is used as a pre training task so the idea is that in your patient visits you know which patient has actually stayed for more than 7 days in the hospital in a certain visit okay now you use that as a task okay basically from these visits in ehr data can you actually predict whether a patient has actually stayed more than 7 days in the hospital that is the prolonged length of stay so that is what you are trying to predict so when you do this task okay you actually get more contextual embeddings that is the idea okay and this task also makes use of the bidirectional nature of bert because you have to look at past visits you have to look at future visit as well you know when determining the length of stay okay so that is the idea over here so in this way this model was trained to get contextual embeddings for visits or in ehr data for patients okay now how do you evaluate this medbird whether you know this representation is useful for a certain task that is where they said you know for fine tuning they selected two tasks right one is uh, prediction of diabetes in uh, basically prediction of diabetes in heart failure patients and another one is onset of pancreatic cancer right so that was the task which needs to be predicted basically uh, those were the two diseases which need to be predicted given ehr data so that is what they did in fine tuning okay and i wouldn't go into the details of uh, fine tuning and the accuracy improvements okay um, the next uh, interesting thing for me over here was visualization of attention patterns in medbird okay so for this what they did was there is this bert vis tool for visualization of attention patterns in bert transformer architecture so they adapted that to better visualize the attention patterns of the pre trained model the medbird model so they introduced a separator token between visits for visualization purposes okay and they say that they observed distinct patterns in different layers of the model among the six layers of the bert transformer mod model uh they found out that the connections of the first two layers are mostly syntactic some attention heads are restricted within a visit and some point to the same codes across different visits okay the middle layers some meaningful uh, attention patterns that capture contextual and visit dependent information emerge and in the final layers they couldn't find uh, you know the information was uh, difficult to interpret okay so here is an example of visualization what they say is that this example uh you know it's of the same code in different visit showing different attention patterns so the same code is there so this is one visit this is another visit the code over here is for type 2 diabetes so in this particular visit it is actually you know I, I, the attention is more over these terms basically these codes which is long term current use of insulin right uh, you know unspecified cirrhosis of liver or type 2 diabetes whereas in the second one it is long term current use of insulin so it is capturing you know this particular code properly so that is what is shown over here right so what they say is that this demonstrates the ability of medbird to learn contextualized representation okay the earlier code for type 2 they were focuses on mainly on the code for the long term use in use of insulin within the same visit but later diabetes code focuses on insulin code both in the current and previous visits so you have uh, you know two visits over here and it focuses on both that's the thing okay then you have another figure which shows an example of bert model fine tuned on the 
डायबिटीज इन हार्ट फेलियर सर्टन डेटा सेट विद अटेंशन कन्वर्जिंग ऑन टू सवरल रिलेटेड कोड्स इन द सेकेंड लेयर ओके सो हियर बेसिकली द अटेंशन इज लाइक कन्वर्जिंग फॉर सम ऑफ दीज कोड्स इन द सेकेंड लेयर ओवर हियर ओके एंड देन यू हैव द नेक्स्ट वन इज लाइक फिगर सेवन विच शोज एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ अटेंशन पैटर्न इन द फोर्थ लेयर capturing relevant correlation between diagnosis codes okay so this is the second layer this is the fourth layer and both of them are actually capturing relevant uh, connection between the uh, this is the diagnosis codes over here okay so for example abdominal pain other specified site multiple sites so the diagnosis codes which are related to that are chronic uh, chronic pancreatitis acute pancreatitis okay abdominal pain you know uh, in a visit these many things were correlated to this particular diagnosis code okay so this visualization show that uh, you know medbird is capable of capturing the contextual relations uh, between these codes in the visits data in the ehr data okay that's the idea over here in conclusion medbird is a contextualized embedding model it is pre trained on large volume of structured ehr data and it uh, it is further evaluated in disease prediction tasks okay so what they say is that extensive experiments have demonstrated that uh, medbird has the capacity to boost the prediction performance of baseline deep learning models on different sizes of training uh, samples okay and they also say that the visualization uh, module helps them to look deeper into the underlying semantics of the data and working mechanisms of the model in both the pre training as well as fine tuning tasks okay so this work establishes the feasibility and usefulness of contextualized embedding of structured ehr data so if you are working on structured ehr data you can look at this particular uh, model okay so i looked at uh, the github page of this particular paper and what they say is that they are not be able to release the model uh, publicly uh, because of the usage of these uh, data sets okay I hope you find this video on Medbird uh, useful if you like the video please like share subscribe to the channel see you in another video happy learning